Welcome back to another exciting episode of Cyber Defense TV. I'm your host, Gary Malefsky, and the publisher of Cyber Defense Magazine. Now, I have a very special guest for you today. He's sitting in my hot seat. His name is Lior Samuelson, and he is the CEO of Siren, one of the most advanced, amazing cybersecurity companies that you need to learn about. Lior, welcome. Thank you. Happy to be here. So you and I were talking earlier about what you do, and I just think it's incredible. It's kind of across the spectrum, plug and play in the cloud, giving me the security I need almost instantaneously. Correct. Tell us how you develop the system and who's deploying it. So the, the, the idea is to uh, create a security platform that people can plug into. It's all 100% on the cloud that provides uh, security, uh, very wide security, at a level that currently does not exist in, in the industry. Um, so what we did, the concept was to develop a, you say, a perimeter around the internet and not let people in. So not let it into the endpoint and so that you, you will be protected whether you use email, whether you serve uh, the web, uh, whether you have a Wi-Fi uh, network, whether you want to deal with uh, high-level uh, cybersecurity threats. Is this only on uh, Windows and Mac platforms, or is this anybody with a browser? It's agnostic. We, we don't really care what, what you use as a machine. It's uh, because what we do, if you use the Internet, we provide you, we provide it with protection at, at the highest level. Let's take, I have a, a tough example for you. Your NHS in England, an employee clicks a link, and they open up something called WannaCry or WannaCrypt. Mm -hmm. It notices an SMB vulnerability, and it starts worming its way around the, the network, and it took down over 1,400 machines. Mm -hmm. Kids couldn't even get their operations in the hospital that week. Right. Would you, if they had your solution, would, would you have stopped it instantly or in three and a half seconds? Yes. So thank you for asking that question. So what happened in WannaCry, so the attack happened, made a lot of, it was in the news, and I called my, uh, the, the gentleman's in charge of our detection. And I said, Siggy, did we, what's going on? Did we catch a warning car? He says, I, I don't really know. Uh, let me, I said, okay, could you please figure it out? And he calls me back after an hour and said, well, he said, yeah, it's, uh, we, it's all caught. There's 67 variants. It's the infrastructure caught it all. So where if you listen to uh, the news, uh, television, radio, uh, newspapers, people, interviewed analysts, a lot of analysts that found the want to cry. For us, it was just another day in the office. It just all gets caught without having to because that's what we do every day. So just as an example, so what we do, we capture a lot of data. So people talk about big data. We do between 27 to 30 billion security transactions a cloud per day. We capture all the information. Say that again. Are we talking millions or billions? Billions between 10, 27 and 30 billion transactions in the cloud per day. We capture all that information. We have a, a big data group. We analyze all that information. And we automatically upgrade our detection instantly based on all the information that, that we conduct. Now, in addition to the information that, 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 that we receive and we get, we also go after getting information proactively. So we have fetchers. We have a bunch of algorithms that go into the internet and find and find malware, find uh, uh, URLs, new URLs. So, for example, in an average day, there are around 300,000 new URLs, and some of them are legitimate mom and pop operations. We go, we go out, and we we fetch them and we examine them to see whether they're malicious or not. So you're like the Google of malware. You're crawling malware we, we, instead of crawling search results. Correct. So we go and seek out. The information. We don't only wait for the information to come uh, to come to us. So, if I deploy your solution, I'm going to get uh, my email experience, my web browsing, my file downloading, all the kind of business logic things I'm doing from my computer secured instantly. Correct. And I don't have to install anything. No. Well, no. I mean, you you'll just. So, I, I'll give you an example. So, if you have a laptop, let's say. I saw you had a laptop, mm -hmm. right? And, and you're now in San Francisco, and you go home, or you go to your favorite place in Paris or Tokyo, or wherever it is, and you open the machine, right? So you're not secure, right? Because you you will surf through the, 
a hotel or whatever you are, and you will be exposed. So a level of security is whatever they provide you, whatever you're, okay. If you connect a siren, you open your computer, and you will be hooked up, you will surf through our cloud infrastructure, we'll provide you with 100% security, and you will also get the local experience. So it doesn't matter where you are, if you're in Tokyo, you, get, you will not surf in Tokyo through some VPN that will take you back to San Francisco, to Tokyo, you'll see, you'll be in Tokyo. But yet, you will be, you'll be protected, 100% protected, and because of some of the new regulations related to privacy, all your data will be stored at place of origin. And that is very, very difficult mm. to, uh, to do, and, and, it, it, and the barrier to entry is extremely high. Now, what if I have a client like um, Outlook for Windows, and I'm looking for an email, and I'm in the HR team, and I've got a resume.pdf I'm supposed to open. I open them all day, and one of them is a zero-day rat. Would you have protected so if you subscribe, us? If you subscribe to my server, that is not going to happen. That you, file you, would be rejected. I will. I will, I will well, you, you won't even show up. Now, I noticed on your website you have some free tools and, and things where we can even test our web browser experience right away. Where should we send our viewers? So you can send them to our website, and they can in the website they can see what we do. They can also test their web security. In fact, they can, they can actually try it for free for 30 days of web security. They'll, they'll hook up through, the, through, our, through our, just shows you how easy it is. You can do it through the internet. And, and get get uh, get a uh, what we call a secure web gateway. That sounds great. And what I'd like to do is tell our viewers it's www.siren.com, C Y R E N. And I think I had an amazing interview with a great CEO who is in the future stopping breaches that haven't even reached us yet. This is the kind of company that's going to reshape cybersecurity. So check them out and then come back for another episode of Cyber Defense TV. Thank you.